What's up everybody, B-Boy Spaz here again and today we're going to be talking about saving rack space using the Combinator. Um, pretty much the Combinator is a really awesome tool in Reason and it can do a whole bunch. So I'm going to cover some of the stuff you can do over a couple of tutorials. Um, this way that I'm about to use it now is probably the simplest and the main thing that it saves you from doing is having to use multiple mixers. Um, basically, if you checked out the last track I did where I gave you the reason file, you notice that I actually had two mixers. So I had the main mix up here connected to the output, and then I had one of the mixers hooked into that, and then I had another mixer hooked into it as well. Um, and, you know, on the older versions of Reason, that's just what you had to do if you used that many tracks. You had to just keep making mixers, and next thing you know, you had a 20 mile long rack. Um, but now we can kind of get rid of that problem using the combinator. So let me give you a scenario. <clears throat> Let's say I'm gonna do this epic string thing in um, Reason. And to do that I'm gonna be using my NNXT and I'm gonna be loading um, some of the orchestra patches which are actually pretty good for strings. Um, but you know, yet again, since it's going to be epic, I don't just want to use the combined strings. I want to go through and I want to pick basses. And I want to go through and pick my cellos. I want to go through and, you know, make an NNXT for every single one. Now, that's cool and all, but one off you're going to use up a mixture track for every single different sound. So if you're talking about cellos, basses, violins, and violas, then you've already used like four or five. Um, not to mention if you double them up or anything. And then also, down at the bottom here, you're gonna have an NXT track for each separate one. So you're gonna have to program all the notes in separately for everything, which can take some time too. Um, and then if you start doing drums on top of that, then you use up all your mixture space, so on and so forth. So actually, a way to not do that is if you create a combinator hooked up to your mixer, and then the first thing you make in the combinator is actually a mixer. So it's almost like a little mini rack. Now the advantage to that is that I can just do all my NNXTs here inside the combinator. And when you have synths inside of the combinator, it actually treats them as one. Meaning that the whole keyboard will play the range of every synth you have in there. So if I have five synths that all have the same note range, they're going to play all of them at the same time. Or, for example, with the strings, if I have basses and cellos and each of their note values end on a certain octave, then I can just play all the stuff in with one keyboard using this one combinator track. So now, instead of using up all that space, I can close the combinator, say space because I only used one track on the mixer now, and I also only have one combinator here. It actually is pretty awesome. I do it with my drums most of the time. I'll make an NNXT, do all my drums, ride it out to the mix, and do everything in here, and then just go, okay, there are your drums. So this is probably the simplest way to use the combinator. It's just as an extra rack. Um, all of the rest of this other stuff up here, and the knobs and stuff, we'll get into later. But try it out. If you have massive tracks with all kinds of stuff going on, or like, let's say you want to make an epic pad sound with like five different pads. Make a combinator, make a line mixer since it's shorter. And I'll actually, I'll actually do something so you can actually see it in action a little bit. Um, so let's make, let's make a Maelstrom. Go in and find some kind of pad. So that's cool. Then I can come in again to my little mixer, go in and find an NNXT, go in and find another pad. Oh yeah, I got a lot of <clears throat> questions about this refill right here. Um, this is a better look at it, Sonic Refill 1.0. Um, I think it's just everything. It's not like, you know how they separate them into pads and this, that, and other. It's just a whole bunch and one so check it out because the pad sounds in this are pretty awesome
So let's say I use this one too. So you see both of the pad sounds are playing at the same time now. And by doing it like this, I can just put effects on all of this and then route it and do all that crazy stuff inside one combinator and then call it one patch. So that is the simplest way to use Combinator. Um, try it out, it is extremely awesome. And don't forget to subscribe to the page. I'm gonna be hitting you all up with all kinds of tutorials on stuff. Still trying to get myself a copy of Ableton 8, but it is coming. Um, so yeah, if you have any questions, shoot them at me. And um, don't forget to subscribe to the page. Alright, peace.